I am inside of Prodigy right now. And you can see that there's this labeling interface that allows me to annotate an image. And in particular, this is a interface that allows me to annotate uh, where my two cats are in the image. Uh, one of my cats is called Noah and the other one is called Sock. Now the interface is great, but the one thing that's missing is instructions. And that's because while I'm very aware of who Noah is and who Sock is, uh, there might be some other people who don't know who my cats are who might still be able to help me label. Uh, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to add some instructions uh, to this labeling interface. All right, so I am back in Visual Studio Code now. I will just quickly turn off Prodigy for now. And what I'm going to do is I'm just gonna add a new file here, prodigy.json. And this will function as my configuration file and I can add all sorts of settings here. One setting could be a instructions setting, which can point to a instructions file. This file can be written in HTML, which allows you to write a little bit of extra markup. And that allows me to maybe add an H1 tag, uh, detecting cats. And I can add some information like Noah is the white cat. Sock is the black cat. And with my config and my HTML file ready, uh, I should be able to rerun the command I was running before, uh, but now Prodigy will run with instructions. And indeed, if you have a look, uh, you can see now over here uh, that there's a little question mark that we can click. And here we can clearly see our instructions that have been added. Now, these instructions are good. This can already be quite useful. Um, but in particular here, I mean, I don't want any white cat to be labeled as Noah. I want this white cat to be labeled as Noah. And there might be some photos where there are other cats. So I do want to have some extra information uh, here. And I think what I would need is just some images uh, to appear here uh, as part of my explanation. And I also think that this is something that you might want to have in general. Uh, you might want to have some interesting examples shown, uh, and images are typically a, uh, a nice way to show that. However, if you want to add images, there is this one trick uh, that is going to be quite helpful. And here's why. You might think, hey, I can just add an image here in HTML, and I can just point to the images folder, and I can just point to one of the images that, uh, that's in there. So, okay, let's see what happens if I now restart the Prodigy server. If I now go back and if I now look at the instructions, you're gonna see that there's no image being rendered and you can also see that we have this broken image tag over here. Now the reason is Prodigy is running on HTTP localhost. In my case, on a port number as well. And from here, it's not like Prodigy is serving an image folder on my behalf. So that means that I cannot provide a HTML file with relative image links. That's not going to work. So instead, what I would like to do is I would like to add the images inside of my HTML directly. And one way of doing that is to include the base64 encoding. And that way, the entire image can just be saved in that HTML file. Now, to facilitate this, you will need to do a little bit of extra effort and write some custom code. Uh, but I've made an example uh, over here. What I've got here is a folder with some uh, HTML templates. In particular, I have this one template here called instructions.template. It has some extra information, but the main thing that it has is this image where we expect some base64 encoded data. Um, in particular, we expect one for Noah and we expect one for Sock. And I have this little Python script over here that uses Jinja2 uh, to actually provide this encoded data. The main thing that I'm doing is I'm just loading in an image over here and I'm encoding that image. Uh, and I'm doing that for both image number four as well as image number five. And then I am using the template that I showed you earlier uh, and I'm rendering it uh, over here uh, and I'm supplying it the uh, encoded data like so. This is a little bit of extra effort, but if I were now to run this build instruction script, then a new instructions.html file uh, should appear. 
And this new instructions file uh, indeed comes with a base64 uh, image right here in the HTML. Uh, and that is something that can natively be rendered. So if I were now to run Prodigy again, and if from here I were to look at the instructions, then now I actually see a nice little image render here, one for Noah and one for Sock, which is great. I've also added some extra bits of information. So here I'm saying that it's also perfectly fine if there's no cat in the photo. Uh, having some extra information is typically always a great idea. But moreover, I think in general, uh, it's just kind of nice to have these images in your instructions as well. Uh, just because there are these moments where uh, a picture just says more than a thousand words.